what will the future investment at Morton Hall look like? And in terms of BAT, how is Morton Hall preparing for BAT on school fees? So in terms of the investment on, in Morton Hall, I think I'll start by stating the obvious. Um, school facilities are particularly integral to the education experience of our, of our pupils. The challenge really as a, a director of operations is to, uh, and how do I manage this wonderful 110 acre extent here at Morton Hall, is how do I balance between a rolling programme of refurbishment that looks into the future and safeguards that, whilst also prioritising facility improvements to best serve our pupils of today, our current pupils. Um, we are particularly fortunate here at Morton Hall to be on a financially sound footing with new investment, as the Chair has discussed, and this has allowed, more recently, a short-term refurbishment of some of our already excellent facilities, such as the swimming pool, that's just been relined, uh, flooring uh, and upgrading of the changing rooms, and we hope for a grand opening of that swimming pool this term. Other areas of focus this academic year will include the prep school foyer, and that's already 90% complete, uh, new uh, outside soft play areas to be installed with works over Easter and the summer period, um, and a refresh of the sports hall, uh, a refresh of the library. Um, we're looking at the Musgrave Assembly Hall, which also uh, doubles as our music and social venue, which will get new staging, uh, a tech refresh, and this will complement the separate already uh, national standard a whole Roy Theatre, school theatre we have on our site. Um, and another example of this year's focus will be the Lord Williams boarding house. This will be getting new modular fitted rooms uh, for all the pupils of boarding over as part of our rolling boarding programme that's already in place after a successful upgrades of Pilkerton House over the summer period uh, and over Stables House uh, as well over the last short term. Uh, some really uh, promising examples there of what's going to be quite an exciting year of investment. In terms of future capital investment, um, there will, this will include new teacher buildings uh, and facilities. Now, these are already at the feasibility stage in terms of planning. Um, and it's a particular interesting point to highlight in terms of capital investment because this links into the B18 discussion, which all the highlight that at all. Um, and a final point in terms of the uh, estate and the investment, good site management, I mean, it's, it's also important to acknowledge, doesn't always include the areas that perhaps people can see. Um, and when we think about the UK government's commitment to um, reducing carbon emissions to net zero by 2050, and I know that by 2025, all new builds and properties will not be able to install gas boilers, uh, for example. Um, and they have to think about alternative heating systems. In terms of um, boilers, um, always a concern. Many schools out there, it's a challenge. <clears throat> Older states, independent states, etc. Um, I can provide reassurance in regard to Morton Hall, but all the boilers here are less than 10 years old. In fact, 70% of them are uh, purchased within the last five years. So therefore, they are economical, energy efficient, more importantly, compliant over the short to medium term which is reassuring. Uh, and a final point in terms of sustainability programme in place, uh, we are st also continue with our rolling programme of lighting renewal, uh, extremely important in the sense that they are environmentally friendly and they're installing efficient LED lighting systems throughout the summit. Um, so all of the above in terms of the state, we think sets more to pull um, and demonstrates particular value for money. For example, in other areas such as the holiday club, and the summer school uh, over the summer period with enhanced facilities. And also note in terms of the summer school, we don't outsource. I think the key ingredient is that the waterfall staff uh, manage and run our summer school and that protects our reputation, which would be my priority.